With version 5 of the Supergrouper, the installation process has become considerably easier. Whereas before you had to manually move the files into place, you can now use a traditional DMG installer to install the files. All you have to do is double click on the DMG, run the installer, follow the prompts. As you'll see, this one is telling you that Supergrouper uses notifications that appear in the upper right hand corner and wants to know if it should use these notifications or disable them. In my case, I'm going to leave them. I'll hit OK. And now it's going to run the notification. I should see this in the upper right hand corner. Next, it's going to move all the files into place, close out of quick keys, remove the previous versions of Supergrouper, and then Add the Supergrouper application to the dock, which should appear like this. And finally, it will ask me to import the shortcuts into Quick Keys. So at this point, I should receive a message telling me to import the shortcuts. I'll go up to File, Import Shortcuts, and then click OK. And it will take care of the rest. If the import is successful, I'll receive a dialog telling me that it succeeded. If it's not, I'll receive a dialog asking me to make a few changes. This dialog means that it succeeded, so I'll hit OK. I now have Supergrouper 5 installed. If you have a moment, take some time to look at the README. It's got a lot of really useful information, especially if you haven't used it before. Even if you have used Supergrouper before, there's a lot of new features that are all detailed in the README, so take a look at it if you have time. Once you've installed it, when you switch back to Media Composer, under your settings, you should see a user called SG5 user. This user profile is the user profile for the Supergrouper 5. So make sure you switch over to it before running the Supergrouper. Once you've switched your settings over, all you have to do is open your bin and open your sequence in the timeline. Once you have the sequence open in the timeline, simply go down to the dock, click on the Supergrouper, and choose whether you'd like to run the Supergrouper, the Superchunk, or under More, there's an option to run a single track.